you're wanting to try and go plastic free, this is the video for you. Hi, welcome to my channel. If you don't already know me, I'm Katie and I am a mum of three. On my channel, I post videos about finding you, finding your style and getting organised while you're at it. I post every single Sunday, so please do subscribe. It really does make my day. And do comment below so that I can get to know you. So if you've been following me the last year or so, you will know I've been trying to sort of find myself after completely losing myself in motherhood. And back in the summer, I had this realisation that I just didn't need so many clothes. So that's been one side of my sort of being a better human journey. And then that documentary came out and everyone has jumped on board, which is amazing because we just don't need so many clothes. Then everything has come out about the fact that yes, we recycle plastic, but if we just don't use it in the first place, that's so much better because a lot of the plastic that we use isn't actually recyclable and it's just building up and up and up. And so one Sunday, I just turned over to my husband and I was like, right, I don't wanna be part of this anymore. We are cutting it out. So cutting out plastic is actually really difficult. If you go into your local supermarket, it is everywhere, like literally everywhere. Biscuits are wrapped in it, your fruit and vegetables are wrapped in it, your washing up liquid has it, your like everything, everything has plastic. And so I, on the following Monday, I, I went shopping and I was like, right, I'm not gonna buy anything if it has plastic. I came home with a very small bag and so I realised that this is going to be quite a challenge um, and I've been sharing it on Instagram stories, I've been sharing what I've been doing and a lot of people have shown interest and sort of said yes, do you know what, I want to try too. So I thought I would share five ways that so far, we have managed to cut it out. We haven't cut it out completely because it's it's near on impossible unless you literally don't buy things, which we could do, but we also have to live. And so while I am trying to find alternatives, I'm doing the best I can. And I believe that even if you can't cut it out, if you can just reduce it, that is the best that you can do. That is fantastic. So here are five ways that we have so far cut it right down. So the first thing was to actually look at what we buy and think, okay, there must be an alternative. So classic example, we get through a lot of ketchup. That's a lot of plastic bottles. I went to Waitrose, apparently Waitrose and Tesco's still have the glass bottles. Not all places stock them, so I had to, you know, have a real search around, uh, but Waitrose and Tesco still have the glass bottles. Same with Mayo, now getting the glass jars. And yes, it's a little bit of a faff, but people in the old days manage, we can manage too. The second thing we are doing is making our own. Biscuits come wrapped in plastic. Even the cardboard boxes have plastic inners. So I just make sure we've got plenty of eggs and flour and we just make our own and it's really fun. Now, I appreciate not everybody is a stay at home mum or likes baking or anything like that. There are alternatives. For a start, biscuits are a treat. They don't have to have biscuits. They can eat fruit as a snack, but you could make it so that on a Friday, you go to the supermarket, you go to the biscuit counter and you pick up ready-made biscuits you don't have to make them yourself but they do just take 15 minutes if you want to make your own i also used to buy the ready packets of scotch pancakes um, and the girls would have them for their breakfast so instead i'm making them it literally takes me two seconds to whip up some eggs and some milk or whatever i can't even think what the ingredients are i have it actually on my thing flour eggs milk and a little bit of sunflower oil and that takes me two seconds just to whip that up and make them but again just find an alternative have toast you don't have to have these things people went without in the old days and i know we're a society that is used to having whatever we want and we feel deprived if we can't have them why should i why should i give up these things 
well fine have that attitude but i'm hoping seeing as you're watching this video that you don't have that attitude and that you are willing to give up some things for the sake of our children and grandchildren's future so the third thing is slightly similar to the first but instead of finding alternative packaging we are going for no packaging at all all. Now bread I have been getting mine from a bakery because Simmons the Bakers don't have soya flour so that means William can have some too but you know Tesco, Sainsbury's, Asda, what all the supermarkets they have a bakery section with the loaves up the back and the rate that we get through bread it doesn't go off it doesn't go stale because we've eaten it all um, but it can go in the freezer so you can just you know stock up and just put it in the freezer and then use it as you like but that means no packaging at all. I don't have a bread bin, so I bought myself a bread bag, and that is the first thing. The second thing I have been getting with no packaging at all is my meat. I have been going to the meat counter or to the butchers. It depends where I am and what I'm needing. Our supermarket counters don't do chicken, so I've had to be going to the butchers for that. But things like beef you can get from a supermarket, so if it's a case of cost, supermarket counters probably cheaper than the butchers but i've also realized meat is really expensive and we've been having some vegetarian days it doesn't kill us we've just been having pasta with sauce and you know chopped up some vegetables and things and just trying to cut down on meat a little bit anyway which also helps the environment so i've come into william's room for the next one because the next thing we've been doing is using cloth nappies and other alternatives to the disposable world that we live in um obviously if you don't have kids you're not going to be interested in nappies but i have other things for you that you might be interested in um so cloth nappies the amount of nappies that you go through it's it's ridiculous like even if you just used one disposable nappy a day that's 365 nappies are going into landfill um and they obviously have plastic tabs and all you know just junk um but obviously you don't just use one a day so if you use two a day that's like 700 if you use three a day you know so if you use 10 a day that's like 3,000 nappies that's a lot of nappies whereas I have maybe 15 of these and they just go in the machine and they're really easy to use and they save you money as well so yes there's cost up front but god there are nappies for like three years so if you have lots of children it saves you loads of money so nappies but if you don't have a child anymore or you don't have a child full stop then i've also been using cloth face wipes they come in a cute little bag and i've got 12 there um and i only need one per day so that's 12 days worth and obviously then you just you just put them in a little bag um you know like one of those net bags put them in the washing machine and they they just you know wash um and i've been using that to cleanse my face um and they're just you know just bits of material i mean there's nothing fancy about them but instead of the cotton pads which if you've seen in the news about the cotton industry and how that is damaging the environment as well and they're single use you use them and you throw them away and all of the resources that go into making those cotton pads and then they've just been used whereas these wash them and away i am not going to show you the next thing because nobody wants to see that but i use sanitary reusable sanitary pads as well and i'm not going to show you them because that's just something not that they look disgusting or anything they're clean but i mean that's a step too far but i do use reusable sanitary wear and i said this to someone the other day and they looked at me like it's disgusting but, i mean the whole process is disgusting let's be honest it's just it's not a nice time of month is it it's all a bit minging whether you're throwing it away or you're putting it in a, a tub to be washed either way it's all gross so you know i'm actually allergic to um normal sanitary pads and that's why i use them but also i'm helping the environment by washing them and and reusing rather than just chucking these plastic things into landfill all the time we also use reusable baby wipes which they're i don't even know where any are so i can't show you but they're basically just squares of material and that's just four ways that you can use reusable 
products rather than single use. So I'm in the bathroom for the last one and annoyingly my husband has gone away and he's taken one of the things with him um, so I can't show you but I can talk to you about it. So what we are doing in our bathroom and in our kitchen as well um, we have bought these squeezy pump soap dispenser things so we don't buy the plastic ones um, we go to a zero waste shop and I think there are quite a few around the country but it just depends whether you have one near you as to whether you can do it too um, and we just refill them so we refill them with liquid soap that we get from the zero waste shop that is the first thing so that is soap but obviously if you don't have a zero waste shop near you you can buy bars of soap they come in cardboard boxes some come wrapped in foil um you know there are other ways if you go to lush of course it's just a shop full of soap and soap bars go quite a long way so if you can't get to a zero waste shop to, if you like liquid soap which we do and obviously we have the luxury of having a shop near us if you can't do that bars of soap work equally well similarly in the zero waste shop they have got big vats of shampoo so this obviously originally was a branded plastic bottle thing i'm reusing this i didn't bin the bottle i took it down to the shop and i've refilled it with i think it was like lavender shampoo or something it's, and it's made my hair really nice it's really nice shampoo um but the other thing that I really do want to try are shampoo bars. And apparently they last for ages. They lather up really well. And they leave your hair feeling really lovely as well. Um, they sell them in the shop. But I'd already filled this up. So I'm not going to just unnecessarily buy one. But again, Lush sell these shampoo bars. And they do last ages. So you can get those. Um, and the whole of Lush. All the soap. All the soap. Um, and who doesn't love Lush anyway? The thing that I wanted to show you um, basically is, is the same idea. Um, we bought some tiny, it comes in a little box and it's got little soap bars that are shower gel. It's shower gel but it's little bars and each tiny tiny little cube um, lasts for one shower so I, that's what i wanted to show you but he's gone away and he's taken that so but again you could buy a bar of soap you know specifically for body body wash um and that is how we have been using it for soap and things like that that classically comes in plastic everything comes in plastic um and that's it that's how i'm gonna end my video sitting on my bathroom floor they are five ways that we are really trying to reduce plastic in our house just by finding alternative sources, alternative packaging, reusing packaging that we already have, like the shampoo bottles, I'm reusing it and refilling it, um, and using reusable products as well. And I know a lot of people, cost is a big factor. Um, something that I thought of the other day, it suddenly dawned on me, food-wise, frozen food, a lot of it comes in cardboard boxes that doesn't have any plastic. So, for example, this week, all I bought um, from the butchers was the chicken and the beef. Um, and then I bought frozen fish fingers for the children because after the week we had last week, I was like, oh, I just can't even be bothered some fish fingers and i got some cod fillet breaded fillets for us um but there's loads of stuff like chicken pies you can get and they've just got the foil base so you don't have to go to the butchers if you like you know i can't afford that frozen food a lot of it does come in cardboard even um like obviously chips come in a plastic bag but waffles potato waffles come in cardboard so you, you know there are other ways you've just got to be a bit of use your imagination a little bit um and yeah i i actually it makes me feel proud when i go to the checkout and i'm there with pretty much no plastic at all it just makes me feel proud that i'm taking a stand because i don't want my children's children's children to have a future filled with basically rubbish they're going to be surrounded by rubbish it just can't be got rid of so yeah, that's that's how we are doing it so far. This is how we're getting on. And, you know, it's not a struggle. It's it's just, you know, it's difficult trying to source all of the things, 
but once I get in the habit that will just become habit um, and it will just be much easier so yeah I hope that was useful I hope it inspires you to just even try one thing one thing will be better than no things so um, yeah I hope you enjoyed that leave me a comment down below let me know what you think if you think I've completely lost the plot um, think, let me know what you think you might be able to try and I will see you again next week with another upload. Bye.